I don't really know anything about guns. My family has guns at our house. I've never heard anything about gun safety in school. I don't know much about guns, but I'm kind of curious. I'm not allowed to touch a gun. What should I do if I see a gun at my friend's house? Hi, I'm Julie Golub. I'm a veteran, a competitive shooting sports champion, a hunter, and a mom. My family shares a heritage and love for the outdoors and the shooting sports. I know from raising my own family that just because kids aren't asking about gun safety doesn't mean they don't have questions. As a parent, if you have guns at home, it's vital that you have a conversation with your kids about gun safety. Even if you don't have guns, the conversation is still important. We all know kids see guns on TV and in movies. They may see them at friends' houses or in situations where you are not there. If they don't learn something about guns from you, chances are they'll learn it from someone else. As a mom, I wouldn't want to rely on someone else to know about firearm safety or teach my kids about it. So have this conversation. It will make your kids, your family, and your community safer. My parents talked to me about guns safety when I was about seven or eight, but they haven't really talked about it since. I've asked about guns, but my mom and dad say I'm not old enough to talk about it. My parents have talked to me about guns, but I'm not sure if they've talked to my little sister. Sometimes I hear from other parents that they just don't know how to get started, when and where to talk, and what to say. This is an important conversation, but it doesn't need to be a lecture. Kids do need to know it's a serious topic. Pick a time and a place where you can all focus on the discussion without distractions. They're probably already curious, so you'll have their attention. Young kids and older kids will need a different approach. Let's start with young children. We see guns on TV all the time. I'm not allowed to touch a gun. I just want to look at the gun. I know where we keep it. My friend's parents have a gun. It doesn't even have bullets in it. I just want to see it. Guns aren't a big deal. I started talking to my daughter about firearms and hunting safety when she was around three years old, and I plan to continue to talk with my two daughters often. It's important to get kids thinking about gun safety as early as possible, but it's not just about age. Make sure your children are ready and mature enough to understand the discussion. For young kids, usually grade school age or younger, that starts with making sure they can understand a few fundamental rules. When you see a gun, stop. Don't touch it. Even if a gun looks like a toy, leave it alone. Leave the area where the gun is and go tell an adult. With kids at this age, repetition is key. Every month or two is not too often. Once kids get older and are in more situations without you, things can change. The teenage years. My parents have talked to me about safe driving and stuff like that, but not about guns. My dad has guns, but mom won't talk about them. We go target shooting sometimes. It's fun. I know a lot about guns just from video games. You can tell when a gun's loaded and when it's not. It'd be fun to take a gun out sometime and just shoot some cans, you know, practice. Many teenagers want to jump right to the shooting stage. That's why education and responsible guidance are important before they ever encounter a gun. Whether or not you have guns in your home, kids may see them at friends' houses or somewhere else. Your lessons on safety may be all they have to navigate those situations. For teens, the rules of firearm safety are very clear. Don't touch, pick up, or use a gun without an adult's permission and supervision. Never, ever point a gun at anyone. Always assume a gun is loaded and can fire. For all kids, young and old, there are a few things you can do to make sure it's a meaningful discussion for you and your family. If you have a partner, get on the same page and try to have the talk with kids together. Be sure your kids aren't hearing different messages from their parents. Find a good time and place for the discussion where both you and your kids won't be distracted. Remember, this is a conversation, not a lecture. Invite your kids to ask questions and ask them questions too. Find out what they already know or have heard. Demystify the situation. Use examples from real life to help them understand your rules better so they remember what to do in situations when you may not be there. Walk the talk. Set an example with your own careful, safe handling, and proper storage of guns. Reinforce your conversation regularly, adding detail and context as your kids get older. There are great educational resources out there for you with discussions of best safety practices, safety videos, and safe storage options. You can start by going to projectchildsafe.org and think about signing the Project Child Safe Child Safety Pledge together with your children. 
Enjoying the outdoors and shooting sports can be a great thing for many families. But whether or not your family is interested in shooting sports, or you and your partner simply want to do all you can to prevent accidents and unsupervised access to firearms, having this conversation is the right thing to do. It's up to you to get started today.